it's Hannah and today I will be showing you how to join your granny squares together to make a blanket. The method I will be demonstrating today is the join as you go method which is very useful because it means you don't have to sew it together afterwards and you can just join it as you go. So sometimes when you're joining your squares together you have to make all of your squares and then sew them all together and it's a massive faff and a huge chore and I do not like that method at all. So the join as you go method means you can have an ongoing blanket, which is what this is, and it's perfect, perfect. This blanket I'm making is different from the one that I showed you in my How to Make a Granny Square video. This blanket is for one of my friends who's expecting a baby girl in November. And so yes, I've done it in pinks and purples with a bit of blue because why not? But that's enough of me waffling. Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? So this is the blanket that I'm making for my friend. My joining colour is white. The joining colour is basically whichever colour you choose for the border. I have a couple of pre-made squares. The square that I need to join is this one. I'm starting a new row, which is why I've created two squares. I'm going to join on a new colour by creating a slip knot. I demonstrate how to make a slip knot in my How to Make Granny Squares video. To join on a new colour, which is what I've done for each of the, each of the rounds, I've finished off like you would do any, and then I've joined on a new colour. I like to join on my, here we go, I like to join on my new colours all in the same corner, just because I am pedantic. But yes, I am threading my hook through, looping over, pulling through, chaining two. For this first row I am just going to do the normal granny square until I get to this corner and then I'm going to do three trebles and one chain. So I've done my three trebles, I'm going to chain one, whereas in the corner you chain two and then you continue along here. Instead, I'm going to rearrange my blanket so it's easier to film. And I'm going to chain one, I'm going to slip stitch into this hole here. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through my next loop and I'm going to do three more trebles into my corner my chain one my chain one like I did attaching it to this corner I'm going to insert my hook into the next gap here, yarn over, pull through the gap and then pull straight through my other loop and then three more trebles into my next gap. Just like before, my chain one I'm doing into my next gap here in the square next to it, so insert my hook and pull through three more trebles into my next gap. I'm inserting my hook again into this square, yarn over and pull through, three into my corner. Like so. And then I'm chaining one into this corner here. So chain one there and then chain one more because you chain two on a corner and then three trebles into this hole and you carry on the rest of your square like you did like it were a normal granny square and there is that first square joined looks seamless and now we're ready to join our next square so I'm going to do the granny square stitch along the top of the square much like I did on my last square. So I've done my three treble in the corner. I'm going to chain one like I did before. 
and instead of joining on down the bottom here I'm going to do my second chain through the top of the square that I just joined so I'm going to go into this top corner do my chain through the corner pull it through and then do three more trebles into this hole And so I'm going to join all down this side in exactly the same way. Once I've done my three trebles in this corner and we're ready to join the, this, the, all the corners together, sorry, um, I'll be back to show you how to do that. So I've, joined my, I've done my three trebles into this corner and now I'm ready to join all the corners together. This may not be the right way to do it, but it's my, the way that I do it. So how I like to do it to make sure my corner is nice and secure is I go through this hole then up through the next one. So you go down into this hole, then up into this one, loop it round and pull it through. And then because it's a corner, we need two chain. I then go down into this one, loop over and pull it through. I'll show you that again. Just unpick it. So go down into this corner and up through the next, loop your yarn over and pull through. And then I'm going down into the next square, looping my yarn over, pulling it through once, through twice, and then ready to start my triple crochet in the gap again. And then I join along my bottom edge in exactly the same way as I joined this edge, up the side, normal granny stitch like you learned in my granny square video, finish off like I did in that video and then I'll be back to show you the end result. Here is the finished result, a bit of a close up on the corner for you and then the join looks very neat. This isn't the only way to join your squares all together, it's just I think the easiest one for me to do because you can do it as you go along, which is nice. So I hope that you liked this tutorial and that you found it useful. Now you know how to join them together, you can get your own blanket on the go. You have enough time to make one for someone's Christmas present if you really love them an awful, awful lot. So yes, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it useful. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Your support means an awful lot to me. I'd also love to have you stick around in the corner of crafts, so hit subscribe. I post a new video twice a week. One of them's on a Thursday, one of them's on a Sunday. So I'm always around and you don't want to miss out on any of the fun that we have over here. If you do decide to use my tutorials to make any of your own creations, please post a picture of them on Instagram or on Twitter with the hashtag the corner of craft. I would love to check them out because I like to see how talented all my subscribers are. Not only am I on Instagram and Twitter, but I'm also on various other social media sites. So I put all my relevant information in the description box below along with any other information that I think you might find useful along with the video on the how to make a granny square just in case you need your memory refreshing. Thank you so much once again for watching and I shall see you on Thursday for my next video. Bye!